Hello guys and welcome to MGO2 tutorial how to improve on the game making this tutorial by a pro player or should I say solid 7 I don't wanna brag or anything but I guess you know that I'm not bad at this game so let's start up with the settings personally most people that use cam what camera speeds they are using in the game and as well as me they use all tens and that's because I think it's for the best at the close situation co combat because if you are close and you try to headshot slow camera speeds are not good for it normally when you start the game they are all set to 5 and I pre personally prefer using the fastest camera speeds for the game because it really helps you in the close situations when the map maps are very small and so on but if you want to either use a little bit small maybe you can use 8 and win easily some far range combat situations anyway let's go with the last camera setup this is the VF James speed personally I like it to keep it at 5 because if you put it on the 10 10 when you aim it straight away aims and not like zooms away from the behind the character so if you put it to 5 I personally think it's easier to headshot and put making it more accurate now let's go to the skill settings most used skills are assault rifle level 2 and runner level 2 these are the most used skills because if you use assault rifle level 3 it really reduces recoil when firing and decreases reload time but it's not really necessary because most players most pro players use level 2 not 3 and it's a waste of skill slot if you like using level 3 assault rifle so if you use that and with runner level 2 you're gonna be very much faster than not using runner level 2 at all and if you use runner level 0 you are very slow the movement is very low anyway in the game so you really need to run and be fast at the game but if you prefer taking it a little bit slow and you have to camp more maybe monomania 3 is better choice for you for these settings I use personally for um, these kind of maps and modes I mean modes like STM DD, DM and DDM or solo capture I use these kind of setups with monomania 3 as a level 2 and runner level 1 and rescue is good for monomania 3 level as well and team sneaky I think most team sneaky players use are as fast as possible character maybe runner level 3 or 2 at least you need to be really fast on that team sneaky to get away from situations and run away when attacking and blades should be at least level 1 on team sneaking because if you don't use blade skill on team sneaking and you try to use the knife and stab them it's much slower if you don't have if you have level 0 on blades so yeah and uh, most likely if you also play rescue more you should put these settings I mean skill settings for the rescue because if there's the rebbing points on and a locators enemy locators you need sub stealth level 2 so you can't be seen on the enemy locator when it's up there and you nearly don't need runner level on the rescue as well because you there's out of can be at the mode Scanning can also be very useful if you want to play team sneaking as well. You get a lot of points and you see enemies after scan using ScanX. Some people also use uh, CQC 
on team sneaking and maybe on some modes, but the most modes are run and gun modes. So runner and air level two it is for me and like most players that are tryhards. If you wanna use shield, if you are a shielder and wanna use shield, this kind of settings are the most used for shielding. Shield level three and might be maybe blade one or two or also could be tokenness level 3 for shielding because that really help you to get points and so on but there's not much of shielders on the game but if you wanna shield and use the shield feel free to use these kind of settings as I said quick recovery level 3 is also very important in team sneaking need to be one guy in the team to have this set level set skill setting so you can wake up enemies instantly and 6 ten, six tens you can also use for example on team sneaking because it's really helpful to see the max and other traps like modes on rescue or team sneaking so it's also very useful if you like a snipe I just suggest you to use sniper level 2 or 1 because even with level 2, there's a lot of recoil on some snipers, so maybe 2 is not even necessary, I'd like to use it also as 1 only, but many times I also use 2. If you want to use grenades for a longer distance, it's quarterback 3. No point using this as 1, just use it always as the 3 because it takes 1 slot anyway of the skill setting. So this is help you to throw in distance and throw in speed. But I think if you use this, the underarm names, which I'm gonna show you later on, won't be as much effective if you have quarterback level 3. I will show you it later. So if you wanna use quarterback 3 level, do it. But I suggest don't use this skill, because underarm names are very useful. Here shotgun level, I think many people use it as level 3, but I'm not a shotgunner. It's the same that SMGs are not OP on the game. It would be nicer if you don't get so many neck shots, but you easily get even close range neck shots with SMG guns, so that's why people use mainly SMG rifle levels. Half guy is very useless, nobody uses really even not, not that much anyway, the t first person weave, but it's nobody use this, so just don't don't bother using this skill, it's very useless. But some situations first person weave can help you to win the gunfight. As you know, maybe, a lot of Japanese players like to auto-aim, so they use survivor to extend the maximum lock on distance. That's very good for auto aiming, but in my opinion, it's a bit of a noobish. So I don't wanna. Auto aim is good to at close range situations, and I use it too. But this game is about headshotting, so don't try to body shot, just headshot. Moving on to the charm, it's funny skill, but not really used in competitive. Narc is not very useful either. So yeah, I think here this was about the most skills. So if you play the most mods like capture or race or base or those, use these. Assault level two and run level two. Run and gun game is about that, unless you play team sneaking or rescue. So yeah. Oh, and I forgot from the gameplay options. As these are my settings, and we have changed speed is five. So you can aim more to put the aim more accurately. So it's like this and lock on set this you can enable here because it's really useful to auto aim. So you always enable this and you can disable it from the square button. Hey the display size should be normal or if you want more real of you to see the gameplay, I suggest you put it smaller, but I use normal so it's not too small. Moving on the weapon switch. Quickly mode is my best and most people use it. It's very good for sneezing in and you can put air as a primary weapon 
and secondary handgun and slot C support aka Queen H. So use quickly more for weapon switch. I suggest that. I had headshot tutorial on MGO original server. I use it recall which makes the weapon faster between AR primary weapon and grenades if you put it like this but it makes me a little bit dumb player because I rush too much and use these settings so I suggest quickly mode is the best like most people use them mainly the pros as well anyway item switch you should use recall not these because recall makes the box use much more faster you don't have to press it two times just once so I'm gonna go on to that later here are the settings button control description what happens in the game here you can change your chat colleagues they are fun and here's the other volumes that's not really necessary to use Alright, now we are in game. So, the most OP gun is M4. But people prefer different guns as well. If you have enough trapping points, you can earn these better guns. But M4 is the most OP and use it gun in the game. Which I also use. And GSR is the most used pistol as well if there's no trapping points on. Grenade, projectile is normal, grenade. Also, don't use the music while you play, so you can hear people footstep running, so you can pre you can react to them faster and know where they are. So just don't use music, or if you use, put the BGM volume down from the settings. So let's go on to the underarm nail. Here, if you want to underarm grenade, Press the L1 button while you are throwing and aiming where you are going to throw. Press it more, hold it more smoother, tightly, not too tight, so it goes like this. Now you can underarm it like this. There we go. If you want to throw it normally like this, just press it, hold it very strong, not too much, no need too strong, but just enough so it goes like this. So this is the difference between underarm nades. A normal throw. If you hold it too long, much, it goes like this, but not enough, goes like underarm nade this. So yeah, this underarm nade can be useless if you wanna throw from here, but it goes over here. Oh shit! But if you throw over here like this, it can be very useful and get the enemy behind this rock. So that's the thing with underarm nades and grenades throwing. I use it to beat people up just by using underarm nades and one versus one even if they had a faster aim than me. So grenades can be very useful in the game. Now moving on to the auto aiming. Press square button to enable auto aim. If you go like this, there's no auto aim but if you press the square button and enable auto aim it, lock it locks on. But remember, if you're too far away, it won't log on, like this, and you get a bit, little bit closer to like, get locked on. So remember that if you're using auto aim, it will only body shots, and body shots on this game will not kill you fast. It goes like this. See, but if you want a headshot, which most this game is about, do it like this. Boom, headshot and he dies much faster as you solve so yeah and um, never run with gun that's most very important thing if you run with gun you run out that slower look now I'm using and running with M4 running a little bit fast slower but now I take it off I'm running faster that's why we run without using the primary weapon But if you run with grenades or knife or secondary weapon, it doesn't get slower. 
only the primary weapon. So when you run on move, don't run and use primary weapon. Now moving on to the settings. As I showed, if you use this as 10 and you aim, you see how fast it aims, but that doesn't mean it's better. See, it's not s slowing behind the character or zooming. Just instantly goes and the aim. But I don't think that's very good thing. Because if you put it slower, 5, you can see it goes slower. You see? It zooms behind your character's back on the shoulder. So you have more time to react and actually be more accurate. That's mainly my opinion and many other people's opinion as well. But this helped for me to aim and get some headshots. Also, the box bobbin. While we use it as a recall more, one button is enough to put the box on. In my opinion, this can be very useful to use the box because it can serve reloads like this. And you can also make it faster after you free load and so like this. And also one thing I like about using box because if you go and don't use box and you just crouch using the X button, you shoot like this, which is my problem sometimes when I'm easy target like that spraying and going like this and I stand still and I'm easy target and my aim also gets very bad and mess it up if I press the X button and take my finger from the R3 and R analog. So if you use box on these situations like this, it's a lot more faster and in my opinion for me works anyway as um, to be a more accurate player and with the aim. But um, I don't think many people use that much of box anymore. I mean, it was original servers like in 2008 or 9. A lot more people use it box, but in my opinion, it helps me a lot to use the box a lot and dodge and this do these kind of things. So people like Flashover, which was known for a very fast aim headshotting, was using recall more and doing this kind of rotation. It's very fast to change and but it's in my opinion it ruins your aim. I mean your brain. You be play, play it a little bit dumber and you can auto aim with handgun, secondary weapon and so on. But if you are this type of a gamer you can use recall as weapon switch as well. Because it really helps you to head so faster because the weapon changes between grenades and secondary weapons much more faster. But do as you wish for. But I'm putting it back to quickly mode. This is the best, even though it's three slots, but they are useful on the battlefield. Now let's go on the a game mode, some of them called mission, base mission. Here you earn driven points and you can choose the guns to be different and better, but here you can see the price of DBs as well as secondaries and support like claymores, SG mines, max, enemy locators. As I say, traps you can see if you use the sixth sense skill. Anyway, let's go to the move on the subject. Here, if you wanna take a base faster, you should always when you start the base go to the far away base. So instead going to the this is one just me playing, so other base should be home base but I mean it is over here. So when you start for example this map, always go longer distance base to get an advantage of the enemy on the map to win the game and as you can see if you salute it goes faster taking the base you see this can be useful as well 
I haven't noticed this one either just recently that we do salute it goes faster now move let's move on to the tin if you die at base and you don't capture the base taking the control you're gonna get every theft more timer delays before you respawn and the time you are on base you get three seconds after you die if you are three seconds after that you put the timer on the zero with the taking the control on the home bases so always when you play base play base keep doing and being on the home base or taking the enemy base or neutral bases to cool down the respawn delaying you can get it back to normal if you die and earn the <laughs> delays by being on base so that's it for a base mission I guess now let's move on to the capture mission I think here on this map mode the most important thing is you do not want to reset the target if the other target Geodan or Gego is on the enemy goal and they are capturing 10 the timer will reset from whatever your goal has the timer is on it will reset back to 30 so you need 30 seconds from go down to 0 to win the match but if you are goal in your own goal over here now it's not showing because I'm playing alone and no other other enemies and no, not even the second target but if you're going over here in capture mission and the enemy team is going on their own capture goal which is the red button indicator red circle indicator right there and if you both are standing on the goal target with the target the target will stay remain 30 or and stay there until either one of you goes away from the goal then you can goal again but if you go back to the goal then the target will reset even on the enemy team and so as well as does yours your team goal so that is the most important rule in the capture mission just don't reset the target when you are goaling it and if the enemy takes the other target and are goaling theirs one thing i think is very useful as some of you people may know or even maybe the beginners but if you use ak don't spray with it if you spray it goes crosshair goes way too up and goes messed up but if you keep one tapping at one button it goes like this you know just like in other games you shouldn't spray with this gun but with m4 spraying is the key in my opinion because if you spray you can win some out of gun fights and some possible spawning and not getting the wreck but just keep spraying with m4 and you even there will get some headshots and good registration but with AK you should just one tap it also switching the aim inside if you are under this cover you wanna use the normally right side shoulder like this but if you uh, wanna watch over here this side press the R3 button to change change the side like this it's useful like this so I mainly use left side but I use both uh, right side as well because they are both useful for many situations like here or being here here you use uh, this angle is better for left side but if you use right see it's not like this it's not good like this so yeah keep using the both sides of the shoulder VFs it's very important in this game also if you wanna try dodge some bullets you notice you can walk by just pressing smoothly the alt analog button and it goes like this now you can also cross and it doesn't roll but if you run and roll press act button it rolls so yeah if you wanna actually dodge some bullets you can go like this a little bit Sometimes I can even roll accidentally, but this can be useful also for 
dodging bullets like this. I mean that was the RG's tactic for good headshot and dodging the bullets like this. But accidentally it can go something like this and you're fucked up. But anyway, this can be if you want, want to, if you don't want to use the bob box win, this can be very useful like this to dodge the bullets. But remember, this game is about headshotting. Don't try the body shot unless you're one HP and you wanna kill instantly with the one HP after you get the next shot because next shot you get easily on this game, always far range. But if you have strong gear gun like uh, MK17, you can instantly kill without next shot in far range. I mean, at least, at least much more far range than with M4 or AK. Let's move on to the next thing. If you wanna cancel the auto I mean you're getting aimed at, you can do like this. Press L1 and go back and X button goes like this. If you wanna do that to the sideways, it goes like this. Or the side goes like this. Then it will cancel the auto I mean you're getting shot at. So that's very useful to get Cancelling the auto and you're getting, but it's not too easy, but you can get it working easily. Also, boxing up like this fast can help you to cancel the auto and people are at. So use these kind of situations to stay away from the auto, I mean, people try to lock you on. Also, if you get CQ seat and go down like this, you can hold triangle, it goes like this and cancels also the auto, I mean, they possibly can try to knife you and stab with the auto aim but always when you play team sneaky or anything you wanna use the knife do it in first person view so if you auto on like this it will cancel it will goes like this and won't stab the people if they cancel the auto aim when you try to stab them so do it like this if you see go see enemies like this and test using the triangle button for stabbing also if you wanna so just get used to the camera speeds don't keep changing them every fucking week like I used to do and which made me struggle a little bit but I suggest like I said very fast camera speeds with 5 VF chain speed, enable lock on settings, use weapons with quick quickly mode and items with recall to use the box faster. So yeah, always also try to pre-fire before enemies come through back from the cover so you can get them easily, like this. This is how you shoot, you don't strafe like this. You keep, don't move while you shoot, unless you are a little bit closer you can do like this a little bit, but it's easier, on very close range. But yeah, when you shoot and aim, you stand still and go like this. This is the most important thing about this game, it's about headshotting only and how to aim fast. Of course brain is more important than aim, but aim is very good, important as well. So this is how you shoot. Keep moving the analogs while you're doing mesh up with this and keep the rotation symbol. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and helped a little bit. Let me know if you need some other tips. See you.